Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to Steins Gate. So, it's it's a proven fact. I'm smarter than Okabe, and so is Kurisu, and pretty much everyone else on the planet. But we've got a working theory for like how things changed in the timeline. So, if we can reproduce the electrical discharge phenomenon, it should bring us closer to understanding the timestamp mystery. Daru. I disconnect the phone plugged into the phone wave name subject to change and replace it with mine. And then I hear the door open in the lounge. Poor baby, her bananas. Mayuri comes in carrying a convenience store bag. Looks like she's done with work. When she enters the development room, her eyes go wide. She's so sweet. Once she notices Kurisu, Mayuri bows her head with her usual smile. マユシです。ラボメンになったみたいです。へえ、本当すごい。女の子のラボメンだ。誰？ペケロッパでどんな操作？さっき言った通り、メールの着信設定の調整だって。遠隔操作のためのメールを受け取った時のモニタリング用で
angrily like the heart of a storm. A violent sparking sound. I grab Mayuri and pull her away from the phone wave name subject to change. What's happening? A thin cloud of smoke fills the room. It smells like something's burning. My eyes are numb from all the flashing light. I try blinking several times to regain my sight. I can hear Kurisu and Daru coughing. <laughs> Mayuri squeezes my upper arm with her slender fingers. My vision gradually returns. Mayuri looks perplexed. Looks like covering Mayuri was, uh, the right choice. I may be an insane mad scientist, but I still risk life and limb for the safety of my comrades. Good for you, man. I gently let Mayuri out of my embrace. Whew, well that was something. I wiped the sweat off my brow. Kurisu's voice is strained. With my vision finally restored, I take another look around the room. And what I see strikes me speechless. The large table in the center of the room is made of thick, solid wood. It can hold about five or six people without breaking. That's why we place the phone wave name subject to change in the X68000 on it. That table has been split in two as if by a woodcutter's axe. The computer and the parts connected to the microwave are scattered across the floor. And the microwave itself has broken through the table. It's literally stuck in the floor. Y'all made something with like a, a super heavy mass in there, like a tiny black hole. Y'all made a black hole, I'm pretty certain. <laughs> I shake off my surprise. This is no time to be standing with jaw agape. Hyo in Kyoma. Seize the moment! <laughs> First, some maniacal laughter, because you can't be a bad scientist without maniacal laughter. Next, I try to take out my phone and do the usual, but unfortunately it's still plugged into the phone wave name subject to change. El, Sai, Kongru. I whisper the words. Words that have no meaning. Words I use simply because they sound cool. Those words have meaning because they have no meaning. After years of repeated use, just speaking them is enough to calm my heart. <sighs> Mayuri stands up and looks inside the phone wave name subject to change. It's embedded in the floor, but she somehow manages to pry the door open. I pat Mayuri's shoulders to cheer her up. <laughs> like, this is a funny situation, but the music is still really dramatic. I fix everyone with an overpowering stare. This shall be remembered as the moment that the greatest experiment of the century succeeded and brought humanity a step forward in a new direction. These guys have no right to ruin what their f that with their fuelish talk. Fuelish? Foolish. My heart pounding. I detach my phone from the phone wave name subject to change. Luckily, it's completely unharmed. I open it. It still works. 
I bring up the list of received emails. New email should come at the top. However, my heart beats even faster. The topmost email isn't the one Daru sent before the discharge occurred. This impossible phenomenon is exactly what I was hoping for. I look back through my email history, and there, I find it. <laughs> oh, grins of pee. <laughs> <laughs> success. I don't know why, but it was a success. The timestamp proves it. I received this email on July 24th, five days ago. This is the same exact thing that happened to my someone stabbed Kurisu email. A mail sent on the 29th arrived on the 24th. And just now, the truth was revealed to me in a flash of inspiration. <laughs> I feel my lips twist into a grin. I meet Kurisu's glare hair head on. How dare she ruin my speech? Oh well, let's get to the point. Kurisu seems to get it now. As expected of my genius assistant. This is the choice of Stein's Gate. Fade to black. Achievement unlocked. Time travel paranoia. Saved. Beautiful. Ah, new day. The dawn of a new day. So much from Shining Finger. Why? Moeka here. Are you a student, Okabe-kun? Are you on summer, br summer break? Are you a day person or a night person? If you'd rather I email you around a certain time, let me know. I want you to reply as soon as you can, but I don't want it to be a bother, so let me know, okay? Mocha. By the way, I don't like talking on the phone, so please don't call me. Bye-bye, Mocha. I just remembered I didn't tell you my phone number. That's okay, I'm a lot more comfortable communicating by email anyway. What about you, Okabe Kun, Mocha? <laughs> Are you still asleep? Rise and shine! Have you talked to the super hacker yet? Oh, I'd also like to hear more about this John What's-His-Face. I'm super curious, Mocha. I'm nocturnal, so I usually don't go to bed around the, uh, till the sun comes up. It's not so bad once you get used to it. Mail me when you wake up, okay? Moika. Okay, Moika. We really need to reply to her at some point, but I'm, I, I understand the whole ignoring someone thing. Dawn of a new day. Actually, it's already noon. We didn't sleep at all. Sleep, sleep deprivation makes the summer sun seem all the brighter. I really don't want to go outside, but I'm fed up with the humidity inside the lab. I chug a bottle of Dr. P. My stomach protests. Maybe I drink too fast. I'm exhausted. My hands are shaking slightly and my vision is cloudy. I could pass out if I'm not careful. Maybe I should take a shower. That should stave off exhaustion, if only temporarily. This building has a basic shower room. There's no bath, but it's enough. The lab would be hell without it. Daru is at his computer. His back is turned towards me. His right leg is bouncing impatiently. The room is mostly silent, save for the electronic fans uh, humming and Daru's mouse clicks. Daru doesn't look my way, and he doesn't try to start a conversation. Neither do I. I don't have the energy. Outside is a sunny after summer afternoon, but inside the air is stale and empty of life. Yesterday, that shocking experiment convinced me that the phone wave named subject to change was also a time machine. But Kurusu didn't seem willing to accept the results. She just started screaming. <laughs> then she took a mad dash out of the lab. It was like she couldn't get out of here fast enough. As for Mayuri, she was depressed about her chicken and bananas, so she skipped her daily costume sewing and went home. Grudges over food run deep, I guess. Yes, they do! Get her food! Rude! Which leaves the lab empty, save for Daru and me. 
Our enthusiasm shot through the roof when we realized that the phone wave name subject to change had tremendous hidden potential. We nearly died of excitement after successfully sending an email to the past. So we stayed up all night doing experiments to confirm whether or not the phone wave name subject to change is indeed a time machine. The results, however, we went to the supermarket and stocked up on a wide variety of items. We tossed, tossed each of them into the phone wave, name subject to change, but everything failed. No change. Nothing happened. After the experiment where the discharge phenomenon occurred, everything warmed up normally. No jellification. Sud suddenly, we couldn't get anything to happen. We still have no idea why. First, let's review the problems revealed by this last run of experiments. Problem 1. Electrical discharge safety precautions. We removed everything flammable from the development room to reduce the risk of fire. We also prepared two fire buckets full of water just in case. But that's not a fundamental solution. We'll keep an eye out from now on, but if things get dangerous, we should seriously consider relocating our experiments. Problem 2. Mass increase. When the discharge phenomenon occurs, the phone wave name subject to change suddenly gains mass for unknown reasons. Because of this, the microwave broke the table and made a dent in the floor. You're gonna have to pay for that. To deal with the issue, we place the microwave on the floor. We spread cushions and blankets underneath. This hides the hole in the floor, too. So it's only a temporary fix, though. If we make any more holes, Mr. Braun is quite capable of raising my rent. And that's to say nothing of the calamity it will cause if it falls through the floor. Anyway, we need to find the source of the mass increase. If amateurs like us can, that is. But the first two problems pale before the third. This last problem is critical. Until we solve it, we can't even really experiment with a phone wave name subject to change. Problem three. We're not even sure of the necessary conditions to send emails to the past. No matter how many times we tried, we couldn't put, pin down a single condition. We spent the entire night doing trial and error. We tried over 40 different things, but none, not once could we reproduce the discharge phenomenon. I had the idea that opening the microwave door was the key. That theory was proven false. There might be something else I'm missing, but for now we are at an impasse. You have to have mass in there to do it, first off. We started off in high spirits, but grew more and more frustrated as time progressed, which brings us to the present. Honestly, I gave up. That's why I spent the entire morning lazing about like this. Who is it? Shining Finger. I haven't gotten a reply yet. Are you still asleep? You sleep too much, Okabe-kun. You're living like an old man. Well, I guess I'm not one to talk yellow mail. Anyway, let me know when you have something on IBN 500, 5100. Pretty please, Moika. I've been getting way too many of these since yesterday. They're all from Shining Finger, the woman called Kiryu Moeka. I've never used email this often before. Even Mayuri only sends me one or two a day, and, she, but, and she's a teenage girl. And that's my own phone. Frankly, this is starting to get on my nerves, but we shall answer that email in the next one. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.